about sequences and says the next term in the sequence is 2 times the previous term, add 1. And n has to be bigger than or equal to 1, and the first term u1 is 1. It says find u2 and u3 for two marks. Easy. u2, by this, must be two lots of u1 plus 1, which is two lots of 1 plus 1, which is equal to 3. And u3 must be two lots of u2 plus 1, which is two lots of 3 plus 1, which is 7. Show your working like that to get yourself the two marks. Very easy. I'm going to rub this out. Next, okay, for part B, prove by induction that un is 2n uh, subtract 1. Now, your hypothesis, your proposition is that un is equal to 2n subtract 1. Basis case, step 1, you let n equal 1, and 2 to the 1 subtract 1 is 1, and you know that u1 is equal to 1. So um, this is true. Therefore, the assumption you assume true for n is k, i.e., and you write down what that means, uk must be 2 to the k subtract 1. Right, And let's just write down what in an ideal world we're trying to get. This is our aim. This is not part of our proof. Our aim is to show that uk plus 1 is equal to 2 to the k plus 1 subtract 1. Right, so now the next step, you let n equal k plus 1. And you say that uk plus 1, well, the only thing we know about it for a fact, is it um, satisfies this formula. So it's 2 u to the k plus 1. But by the part above, we can substitute uk for 2k subtract 1. So this is 2, 2k subtract 1 plus 1. Times that out, 2 times 2k is 2 to the k plus 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, and we've still got the plus 1. So we have ourselves 2 to the k plus 1 subtract 1. Oh look, that was our aim, and we have fulfilled our inductive hypothesis. Last part, you just state your conclusion that true for n equal 1, n equal k, n equal k plus 1, therefore true for all n bigger than or equal to 1, and you're done for your 7 marks in that question nice and easily.